want we want all to use the restroom we all have dying some would would lose it and just uh, some after that they brought us doctors uh, and the doctor would not talk to you just give you capsules and uh, and you swallow the capsules I and the nine that went out they all remember this occasion so we said please take us away from the so they took us from the Khasa and they took us to our families they were in the desert the families were already had been already in the desert before that we had a visit when we were in Abdurrahim we had a visit they said uh, from the presidential palace and they said God willing you will be released so one stood up the, 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 the same guard uh, Muhammad he said uh, hopefully they will be released he said and when he said the, the elderly uh, and I I haven't seen anything in the jail and so on what's his name so why are you bringing me up I was sentenced so just let me finish my sentence he said he said why why are you why were you sentenced for seven years he said because when i was donating to the mosque they want to buy a refrigerator i give them a dinar and a half and i don't know why i was imprisoned because of that for seven years and here you brought me uh, for a case that i have nothing to do with you, i was in the security forces in prison there So, Your Honor, uh, why, uh, he told them, Why did you? I was already sentenced. Why did you bring me with these people? You asked me to swear on the Quran, that's why I'm trying to rec recollect everything. So, when we left the Khasa, we went. Muhammad from which court I don't remember but his sons uh, and family are present they are present his brother is there if you like to to get some clarification I can point you to his family he was in the intelligence and he was executed after that when we went to the desert he was in the intelligence in the Khafifa in Abu Ghraib in Abu Ghraib in the section the section the section that was belonging to intelligence because where we were did not take all of our numbers some were in the hallways I told you when we we went to Samawa how many nine that group had nine in them the how many that were arrested I don't know I don't know all of them 70 80 I know but uh, it was more than that maybe I saw in Khasa Muhammad Jamil Ayyub. He, he stood to pray. You know, 70, 80. I mean, the total, how many? Only, only my tribe, about 15. But I can't tell you all the names. What I remember, I can tell you. All I can tell you who I, uh, who I know, but uh, it was more than that. So, 
اعطيني اسمائهم جيف مي ذا نيمز يعني تريد سيد البابا غريب لو تريد ان ابو غريب ان خاصه اور وير اللي معاكم ذوس هو وير ويز يو ذا سيد ديفيجن وياي We're watching uh, the uh, fifth session of the trial against uh, deposed President Saddam Hussein of Iraq and seven co-defendants. Uh, we are seeing this testimony, which began uh, about half an hour ago with a half hour, 20 minutes to half hour delay. Uh, the proceedings themselves were delayed for hours uh, this morning uh, when Saddam Hussein refused to come back to the court, saying uh, that uh, uh, it was an unfair proceeding, complaining of the way uh, that the, the way he and his uh, co-defendants were treated uh, and finally a lot of talks went on behind closed doors finally a decision was made to proceed without him and you see that uh, his chair is conspicuously empty I'd like to bring in our correspondent Nick Robertson he's live in Baghdad to bring us up to date uh, in the Khasa in Abu Ghraib the food was good but in the desert it was very scarce food, very, very little. We were fasting. The f we were seven, eight in my family. So just bread for, for our meals, F firewood. It, there's some oasis far away. We would walk on our feet to bring we would uh, take the grass or to make some f something to burn and we will put them uh, carry them on our head to bring firewood once a week and uh, the water came from wells the water is is red you can't drink it we stayed about uh, for a period uh, like that they brought us tents they they brought us tents and then they brought us TV and the video player uh, so, uh, before you go out you would watch TV and then and then you will be released for a period also they brought us uh, an army brigade uh, Mer Mercedes trucks they put us the, in the desert there was a family from Tikrit and two from another area or no four from Shargat and Tikrit four families not from the jail. Jadallah is one.
Tikrit, or Tikrit I don't know. He said they were from Tikrit. Uh, I don't know where where exactly in Tikrit, but why were they with you? We didn't really ask them about that. We were, we were afraid maybe they were informants. So when you go into these situations, you are very apprehensive. So we didn't talk to them about that, but so we were avoiding them. Uh, we were afraid uh, to talk to them. Thank you.